Okay, what do we have for Florist A? Florist A is saying that they're charging $4.75 per blue rose plus a $40 delivery charge. That sounds expensive to me. That's an expression that we could write for Florist A. Oh, I meant the X. Thank you for the correction. 4.75 X <coughs> plus 40. And in this case, what is our X standing for? It's the rose, right? Whether it's a red rose on the left or a blue rose or left, right. On this side, we've got $5.15 per red rose. That per is what's telling us that that's what's going to be multiplied. And we have 5.15x plus 25. So let's go down and look at the word problem, which in your book, you don't need to pull them out. They do show that they're blue and red roses. Good question. Are they natural? Derek wants to order some roses online. From what number of roses, for what number of roses, is it less expensive to order from florist A? So we would set this up as 4.75x plus 40. <clears throat> and we want to know it's less than for A. So on the right side, we're going to put florist B. And then we're going to simplify that. I'm going to subtract the 25 first. So we end up with 4.75x plus 15 is less than 5.15x. Then we're going to subtract the x term. I'm not trusting my brain this morning, so I'm just going to use my calculator. Yep, 0.4. And then we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.4. Yep, 37.5. How did you do that? <laughs> you what? Oh, you did this for homework? Okay, we could reset this up to find out about Floris B by reversing the symbol, right? To find out which would be the least expensive. But we need to think about this in, in terms of real world problem. This is 37 and a half roses. Which half of the rose would you want? The top half or the bottom half? The whole rose. You would want whole roses. We, can't we cannot round this up because the florist is not gonna give you a half a rose for free. So, if Derek wants to find out how much it would be at florist A, it would have to be rounded down. We'd take that half off because we won't, they won't sell you half a rose. Go ahead and do the triads. 